everyone. Good morning and welcome back to the eBay shop. We've got a bunch of orders to pull. It seems like we got a big rush over Christmas Eve, Christmas, and today. So we're going to get them ready for the post office tomorrow. Today is actually Monday the 26th. The post office is not open today. I know a lot of people were posting on Facebook. They weren't sure why the post office isn't open. With a federally observed holiday, if it lands on a weekend, generally those employees get to celebrate that holiday the following business day. So that's why most post offices around the country, or I believe all, are closed today, Monday the 26th. That just means we're gonna have that many more packages for Tuesday, and we've got plenty now. So we've got a bunch of things to pack up, and then I wanna to talk to you about a subject that every, or an issue, I guess, that every reseller, no matter how big or small you are, every reseller eventually runs into this problem. A lot of them probably think they won't when they're getting started. I know we definitely thought we won't. We had a plan not to. But even we ran into the problem, and I suspect we're going to run into it for the entire length of our reselling career. So we're going to talk about that today. But first, we've got a whole bunch of orders to pull, so let's go grab some of those. Our right, first one is Graham's last Moon and Stars canister. She's selling these canisters pretty well. And I'm starting to think maybe with the canisters, the way to go is to actually just part them out because that's the way these seem to be selling better. These right here, this is the last one. We had three of the four set and each one sold and they did pretty well for us. And that little one, that's the smallest canister of the bunch and that one sold for $25 plus shipping. So we'll get that in a box and double box and we'll get it out of here. Okay, so we've got another one of the Barbies we got from Commonwealth Picker that's going out. And it's this girl right here. It's 1990 Bath Time Barbie. And she sold for $11.99 plus shipping without any clothes or accessories or anything. So Barbies sometimes do have value, guys. You just got to do the work to get them there. Okay, and then we got a pair of shoes. I just said in a previous video, I think it was just the last video we did, that we're not big on selling shoes. That we, They don't do well for us. Um, it's super competitive. It's just not something we have enough experience to be selling in. And it's not something we're interested enough to get into too big. But we did sell a pair of Nikes. So the only reason we picked these up, knowing we don't like shoes very much, is just because they're such a kind of a cool design. They were different and they stood out. So we picked them up. Usually if something's different or strange, we'll take a shot on it. And those sold for $19.25 plus shipping. And I think we had all of maybe two bucks in them. All right, now we got some Littlest Pet Shop that sold. That's that one right there. A little German Shepherd and some accessories to go with it. Okay, so it looks like it's a German Shepherd Get Better set. So like a vet set. And we have $0.35 cents in that whole bag. And it sold for $8 plus shipping. Uh, $7.99 plus shipping, rather. And then we have a battery charger. This is a battery charger. It's a Schumacher battery charger, which they're pretty good. If you ever see them out there, pick them up, especially if they're cheap. It's just this little thing here a little battery booster and charger all right we did test that one it is working the thing with it was i couldn't find any comps for it sold or unsold and because we couldn't find any comps i priced it a little bit higher than i normally would and we ended up taking an offer on that one for 68 dollars plus shipping that was a good little battery charger for us okay and then we have a stanley accupark that's this guy here just a little laser to help you park in your garage without hitting anything and I think we had about $3 in this from an estate sale that we went to. And that sold for $15 plus shipping. So, And that'll ship pretty easy. And then we have another Barbie to grab. So it's another one with basically just nothing on her. She's just naked with no accessories. Her earrings are in. It's a 1988 style Magic Barbie. And we sold that one for $45 plus shipping. And then we have a couple snowmen. All right, so we got them right here. I won't unwrap them. But what I will do is put a picture up on the screen so you can kind of see what those look like. And they're not really a ceramic. They're like a like a plastic of some kind. And that set sold for $12.99 plus shipping. And then we have a little Garmin Newbie GPS system going out. The 1350. Okay, so that one, I think we got about two, three bucks in that. And that sold for $25 plus shipping. So the, the old Garmin GPSs still do sell. And then we have a number 19 Daryl Green football card. So one of our singles would be that guy right there. That one right there, um, $1.23 free shipping. It had to go out, it probably cost us about 48 cents to ship him. All right, and then we've got another Littlest Pet Shop Sledding Fun. And they're all in these drawers down here. That's him right there, or the pair of them. And this is this is not the whole set of that Sledding Fun set. It's just two of the characters from that. So we got about 35 cents in that again, and it's $9.99 plus shipping on those. All right, and then we've got some Liberty Dishes, little ice cream or parfait dishes going out. This is our last box of these. We got two boxes of these at a garage sale. That's those right there. And that box sold for $31 plus shipping. And then we have a single Department 56 figure, a little... Uh, 
Actually, it's a it's two figures, a little girl with an apple cart and a newspaper boy. So we'll grab those. And we sold these as a pair. They're already in a bag here, so I won't pull them out, but I will put a picture up here for you so you can see what they look like. That sold for $4.49 plus shipping on that. All right, and the next one we got to grab is actually a, like a metal vintage wall sconce. It's the second one of these sold, and these do pretty well for us. So if you ever see these, go ahead and pick them up. That's that guy right there. I think we got that for like five bucks. Yeah, we had five bucks in that. And we sold that on Etsy for $80 plus shipping. So anything like these kind of things, get them up on Etsy. They sell really well. They may not sell super fast, but they sell well and for a really good price. All right, so this here, kind of what we've got so far. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this stuff off, get it off the bench. And then we've got a pile of Department 56. Actually, I can just show you. Okay, so everything right here on this shelf sold in one order. And then all of them on this shelf sold in another order. So we had two really big orders of Department 56. And those are going to have to be bundled up and shipped UPS. We'll try and combine as much of the shipping as we can. But quite a bit of those going out like right after Christmas Day, which is really cool. So, And then we still got a ton of those to sell. You can see kind of on that shelf. And that shelf there is just full of them yet. So we'll get those Department 56 boxed up. See, that's going to be a lot of packages for... Tuesday for the post office, but the topic of today's video was a problem we all have, and that's what you see down here, kind of all the way from where we're at here, clear back to that wall back there. All right, so basically all of that back there is what resellers consider a death pile or what's often called a death pile, and that's just stuff you've bought and you haven't listed yet, or you just never do list it because you get it home and it's not as good as you thought, or it's unexciting, or whatever the reason, it's just sitting in a pile and it's not being listed. Grams and I talked, uh, over Christmas here and one of our goals for the new year is to actually eliminate that we never thought we'd have one nowhere near what some people have but I think it's more than enough now to where we're walking around it every single day so we've given ourselves till March 1st to try and clear that pile out we're gonna really scale back and not buy anything unless it's just a crazy good deal we're not going out actively searching for sourcing we have more than enough stuff here so we're just gonna source out of our own death pile here and we're going to force ourselves to list something every single day until we can get this gone or at least very close to gone and much more manageable because we'd actually like to get back to those shelves back there and we'd like to snag a few of those to move over for our actual active inventory because our active inventory is growing and we can't do that if it's just got a bunch of stuff sitting on it that has not been listed that's kind of what we're after is to get that pile listed i'm sure you guys probably have one or if you're just starting out you're probably going to run into that so i'd love to hear how you guys handle it how you keep those death piles under control how you keep up on them and keep them from kind of overrunning your eBay shipping areas or wherever you're storing them. Maybe it's in your garage or your basement. How are you keeping that from getting overwhelming for you guys? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to finish up this packing. We're going to get it ready for tomorrow's shipping and we'll see you guys next time.